Hello, I'm Keely. I've been tidying up around CBeebies and I was going to throw all this rubbish out. But then I had an idea. I could be an inventor and make something out of the rubbish. Have you ever invented something? You have. Well, I know a story about Wendell, who's an inventor. That story is called Wendell's Workshop. Wendell was an inventor. Sometimes his inventions worked perfectly, and sometimes they didn't. When they didn't, Wendell just threw them away and started again. Wendell invented all day and sometimes into the night. Sometimes he was so busy inventing, he forgot to go to bed, and he never had time to tidy up. Wendell's workshop became untidier and untidier and untidier. I need some help, Wendell said to himself. So Wendell invented a robot. Clunk, clunk, clunk. I'll call you Clunk, said Wendell. Clunk set to work tidying Wendell's workshop. He made the bed, folded the clothes and mopped the floor. Oh dear, said Wendell. Clunk tried harder. He put the teacups in the sock drawer and filled the laundry basket with umbrellas. This isn't working, said Wendell. So he threw Clunk down the rubbish chute. Clunk! And out onto the scrap heap. Inside the workshop, Wendell was inventing a new robot. He worked all night and into the morning. At last, it was finished. I'll call you the Wendellbot said Wendell. Tidy, said the Wendellbot, its red eyes glowing. Tidy! And it set to work. The Wendellbot worked perfectly. Wendell was very pleased. But the Wendellbot didn't stop. Its red eyes glowed as it unmade the bed into a neat bundle and crushed the teacups into a tidy pile of powder. Tidy! the Wendelbot said, as it shredded the umbrellas and flattened the laundry basket. Tidy! Soon everything was neat and tidy, all except one thing. Tidy! cried the Wendelbot, as it chased Wendell around the workshop. Help! squeaked Wendell, as he shot down the rubbish chute and out onto the scrap heap. Then, from quite close by, Wendell heard a clunk. Clunk. Oh, I'm so pleased to see you, said Wendell. From inside the workshop, the noise of Wendelbot's hammering and bashing grew louder and louder. We need some help, said Wendell, but all we've got is rubbish. Clunk reached down and handed Wendell an interesting piece of scrap. Wendell smiled and then he began to invent. All day and into the night, Wendell and Clunk were hard at work. As the sun rose, the hammering and bashing from Wendell's workshop stopped. Workshop tidy, said the Wendelbot. It turned its glowing red eyes towards the window. Now, tidy world! The Wendelbot strode across the workshop and threw open the door. Good morning, said Wendell. The Wendelbot's eyes glowed red. Tidy, it said. Untidy, untidy! Wendell and his robot helpers shouted as they ran inside. Tidy, cried the Wendelbot, lumbering after them. But the robots were too quick for it. The Wendelbot's eyes glowed brighter and brighter as Wendell's workshop grew untidier and untidier. Tidy, tidy, tidy! Bang! When all the dust had settled, Wendell sighed. <sighs> now we'll have to tidy up again, he said. But not too much this time. All the robots helped in their different ways. And not everything worked perfectly. But Wendell didn't mind. He just smiled, patched this, mended that, and made adjustments here and there. But there was one thing he didn't do. Wendell never threw anything on the scrap heap again. And that story was called Wendell's Workshop. I knew.
knew that it was a good idea to hold on to all this rubbish. Well, while I'm working out what I'm going to invent, it's time for you to go to bed. And I'll see you very soon for another story. Night-night. <laughs>